All right, Rogue One came out in 2016. So the story, you start off in the beginning with Galen Erso. He has a young daughter named Jen Erso. They are separated when the Empire comes for Galen. Galen is helping the Imperial unit on building a Death Star. But what the Empire doesn't know is that Galen has built a weakness in the Death Star, and he has plans. The plans that involve some kind of weakness. So years later, when Jen is growing up, she joins a rebel cell called Rogue One. And she delivers a hologram that exposes that there is a weakness with inside a Death Star. You know, the ships come in, they blow up the center, and that's what blows up the Death Star. But taking down the Empire, it's easier said than done. Because there's two people that they have to get through. One is Tarkin, and two is Darth Vader, and they will not go down without a fight. My thoughts on this movie. I think it's a brilliant film. The film is also very sad. Because I think this film came out a few days before or a few days after Carrie Fisher died. So that's probably why this movie made a billion at the box office. Also, spoiler alert, all the main characters in this film, they die as well. They either get killed by the stormtroopers or they get blown up by the Death Star in the climax of the film. I like seeing the Carrie Fisher cameo in this movie. You know, you get a young Princess Leia at the end. She receives the plans. She's going to send those plans out to Obi-Wan Kenobi. I also like seeing Tarkin in the film. You know, the original actor played Tarkin, he died a few years ago, so they put him in the film to pay homage to him. Also, like seeing Darth Vader in the movie. Wasn't in it a whole lot, but it reminds you of the old classic Vader we got in the original trilogy. Especially that last scene there, where the rebels, they are entering an Imperial fleet. The room goes dark and Vader just stands there with his lightsaber only being the source of light in the room and he just slices them all in half. But I'll give the movie a 10 out of 10. I think it did what it needed to do. It was there to establish events uh, before the original trilogy. It was supposed to set, to set up Star Wars A New Hope and the movies that follow. I wasn't really so sure about this film when they announced they were making more prequel movies. I was like, ah, I don't know about this. I've seen the other prequels. I don't know if we want any more, but that's what we got. And we're going to get more prequel series, the whole Disney Plus stuff. But Rogue One, 10 out of 10, did what it needed to do. I like it. So next review I would do is Star Wars A New Hope. That's what comes after this movie uh, chronologically. That's the way I'm reviewing this movie. It's not reviewing this movies by year, but... In order of how the events happen. So next is Star Wars. And the hope the original Star Wars movies back in 1977. Directed by George Lucas.